So now let's just imagine a scenario where we took money out of the cash account and we put it into the Primerica investment account. We, we would see that in the bank feeds. So I can go to the, I can go to my bank feeds for the checking account here. And I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to go down to Primerica. So here's one. I'll just pick this one. I'm just making this up as imagining this is an investment uh, account. And so I'm going to put it in there as a normal uh, category type of account. You might consider it like a transfer because it's going to another uh, investment account. But I put the investment account as an other asset and I'm going to be regulating it through the checking account. So that's good. I'll keep that. And then the vendor, I'll go ahead and keep, I probably should, well, I'll keep the vendor uncategorized. We're gonna say it needs to be categorized and I'm gonna put it in the Primerica account. And so now it's going in there, no tags, and there we have it. So I'm not gonna make a rule for it because this is just gonna be a practice one here. So I'm gonna say add it. And so there it is. If I go to the balance sheet then and scroll up and run it, so now if I go into the checking account, into the checking account, then we're going to say that we have the other side going into an investment. So which one, which one was that? They're all Primericas. Everything's a Primerica inventory. Here it is. The investment, the 25, boom, expense form. There it is. Let's close it back out. And we're going to go back then to the balance sheet. And then we've got our Primerica here. So there uh, it is. And then we had it increased once again by this 